Okay, guys, let's go through point hacking like a pro. Um, to be fair, I wasn't actually expecting so many people to respond that they wanted to know about this. So I thought I'd put together a little video. Some people said, why do you need to do a video? I like doing videos, right? So for me, I wanted to put together a little video to break down exactly why, because there's a few key areas that I would like to make sure that I touch on, which I think is hard to do if I just send you a bunch of links, if I just send you a bunch of information written. So that's why I wanted to put this together give you guys this so you have it as a um, breakdown and asset you can refer back to you can play and pause you can share it with other people um, if you want to we'll obviously have all of this and all the links that i mentioned will be down below there's a benefit for using my links which i'll share after um, but of course i'm here just to help and give you guys info and help you guys get better results uh, from what you're spending already as uh, one of my mentors jay abraham would say get all you can out of all you've got now, a little bit, first of all, about us. So if you don't know me, um, you probably do if you're uh, on the uh, uh, on this training and watching it and listening to it. So my name's Kim, I'm from Your Social Voice. Uh, we also have a mastermind called The Mobile Mastermind. We help businesses grow. Your Social Voice is that done for you side of our business where we completely do uh, people's marketing for them, help them generate leads, make more sales, make more money. Our mastermind is where we teach and train and uh, mentor and mastermind on topics. So this is the sort of thing that we kind of go through in our mastermind. We share different hacks, what's working, what's not, not just in advertising and marketing, business in general. Um, and there's a free training video down below, which also goes through a few other things that we help people with that we identify. Um, so that's a little bit about us. We've been doing this since 2014, been around the traps a little while. And uh, we generally, we know kind of what we're talking about. And we like to talk to a lot of experts in these areas. So you also see down below, um, I have a expert, uh, Steve Huey from I Fly Flat. He's done a training as well, 20, 20 minute training on uh, point hacking, making sure that you never have to fly economy again, you know, and just fly flat. Um, there's nothing financial here. I'm not giving advice. I'm not telling you what to do or anything like that. Always assess your own goals, your own personal preferences, your own um, tolerances to expenses. So please don't think that anything I say in these videos is me recommending you to do anything and saying you have to do it completely up to yourself. I just want to show you guys what I do. I think it's cool. If you like it, great. If you don't, also great. So the first thing that you need to do is assess your goals and expectations. When I say what your goals are, you should have a goal for point hacking. It's either going to be travel based, accommodation based, maybe reward based. Maybe you're someone who wants to get, you know, Woolies vouchers or, or something like that. I don't know what your goals are, but figure out what your goals are before you go through into these processes. Because once you do, right, then you'll be able to assess and go, okay, I know what to do next. I know what actions to take. So you might go, I want return business class airfares once a year to America or once a year to Europe. Or I want to fly regularly domestically business class everywhere I go if, I, if you travel just around Australia. So once you know what your goals are and when you want to do it by, you can start to set those and figure out of the things that I share, which ones are going to be pertinent for you to use. For me, I think you should use all of them. If you're in the same boat as me where you want to get the maximum outcome possible, um, but again, completely up to you, your own goals and your own outcomes from, from point hacking. And then just go to town, go to town and get it done. There's what I like to call the old method and the new method. So the old method is what people would do is just go, Hey, I've got an Amex, I've got a MasterCard, I've got a Visa, and I use that, put all my business expenses through it, guest takes care of everything. Now look, that works in some aspects. It works for... Um, those that have the ability to pay all of their expenses on there, like you might be able to pay sometimes the ACO, you can pay maybe your rent and a few other expenses, but payroll, things like that become a bit hard to do. Now, the new method is going about, hey, how do we, yes, get all of our credit card rewards, but how do we stack on stack on stack on stack on stack on stack on stack? How do we get as many rewards as possible? Because we as business owners work bloody hard. We pay a lot of expenses, right? We have a lot of overheads. So how can we get the most out of them rather than just going, oh yeah, cool, we use a credit card and we get points there, that's awesome. Points stack, you know, maybe you use something like B2B pay or reward pay to get um, uh, points when you pay the ATO bills. Now I wouldn't say to use those, I'm gonna give you guys something different that I would recommend instead, but that's just something to have a look at. But the old method is just going, cool, there's one way I get points, I use them, and now you might have something uh, in somewhere Again, where you've got the ability to get Qantas points or Virgin points. Again, both of which are cool, 
But my preference is to get points where I can allocate them as I need because I might not be able to get flights on Qantas. I might not be able to get flights on Virgin. I might need to get flights on Singapore, Singapore Airlines or one of the, uh, like, uh, Qatar or Emirates or something like that. You can't do that if you've got all of your points locked into one particular airline, right? So there's always many different ways to skin a cat. So, again, it's all about figuring out what's the best way for you to stack as many things as possible. Because we're making money, we're spending money, how do we get the best out of it? Because you've got flows of cash of money coming in, money going out, money coming in being money you receive, and then you've got money going out or your expenses. So the money coming in, my preferred uh, method of operandi, if you will, is using something like Live FPOS. So Live FPOS, right, which is this beautiful website here, you can earn Qantas points with them for every dollar that you process. Now, again, based on your expectations and also your goals, the thing that you need to remember, like if we go back to the very beginning just for a sec, assessing your goal. Yes, all of these platforms have a surcharge for using their services, i.e. if you're processing a credit card, there's got to be there's got to be a way for them to make money, for them to be in operation. You don't just get points for free. Same as you use Amex, you get points, great. You're paying an Amex card fee, right? You pay a percentage every single time. Now, all of these platforms do that as well. So take that into consideration. But when you look at your goals, let's say that you spend an extra five grand a year, right across the year in processing fees, but that gets you two return airfares to Europe, which might normally cost you 20, 30 grand. There's a 10x differential there. So again, you need to know what your goals are. So please don't go through this and go, oh, but there's like a surcharge on, it's like, of course, they've got to make money too. They're a business as well. But it's like, if we're going to use it, to the best of our advantage, how can we do something where if we spend five grand, our benefit is, you know, um, uh, sorry, not 10x, like 6x, you know, for example, going from five to 30. So if we can start to leverage all these different ways, all these different processes, just remember, you've obviously got an expense in there as well, um, because they have to make money somehow. A lot of FBOTs, you can earn Qantas points with them. I think they've rolled out Virgin points as well, Velocity points. Um, but if you're someone who processes money online or big ticket items, you can use an online portal, you can use a handheld portal if you've got a physical premises, all of those things you can use, right? Pretty cool from that perspective. So you can leverage every single one of them. Um, so I know I've noticed a lot of IGAs, cafes, things like that, that have um, I've just started to see them more recently now that have caught onto this, are processing through there because they're like, hey, I've got to pay fees anyway. So you make $30,000 a month um, coming through a store, why not get 30,000 frequent flyer points? right? Why not take advantage of that? It kind of makes sense. So the more you can do that and you can go, well, look, on the money coming into my business, I can collect frequent flyer points. Then we can also look at the money going out. So this is one way that I think is very, very good. Um, you see a link to them at the bottom. Links to everything that I mentioned will be at the bottom. Um, I don't get anything. I'll tell you guys if I get referrals, which are some of them I do, which you also get, which is cool. Live FPOS don't do anything. Don't give me anything, but I reckon they're cool, so I recommend jumping on and, and taking advantage of that if you can. Now, the next is you've got flows of money and flows of cash going out. You've got your overheads and expenses, payroll, you've got your rent, advertising, overseas supplier and team, which a lot of people haven't really been able to leverage. You've got people in the Philippines, all that sort of stuff. The ATO, you've got to pay them, <laughs> GST, you've got um, uh, super, you've got you go with holding, all of that sort of stuff that you're going to pay can stack up, right? And it's and it can be painful from that perspective. But, oh, ah, stab to the heart, pay the ATO again. It's much easier to pay them, and I'm much happier to pay them when I know I'm getting a benefit from it. So, like, oh, cool, I'll pay them, but I get 15,000 frequent flyer points. Great, 20,000 frequent flyer points. Cool, I'll take advantage of that. So, all of these can be attributable to you to get points. You can actually get rewards from. All of these payments, including your overseas team, right? I'm not just talking about one, as I said, the old school way is one thing. I pay with my credit card, pay with my Amex. What if we can have an extra dip, right? An extra little taste. So pay.com.au is my preferred platform of choice at the moment where you can put all of these things through, right? It's really, really, really cool. And points on your business payments. So everything that you pay can be done, right? The other benefit is everything that you pay through here can be paid with your credit card. 
So you can use your Amex, your MasterCard, your Visa to pay all of your business expenses. They include payroll, rent, your overseas team, and I'll show you how you flip that around a little bit in a second and make it really, really easy to pay your overseas team. Um, anything that you want, right? All your business expenses can be done through here. And you can use your credit card to pay your staff, pay your, pay your payroll, which means that's another little dip. So the same day you go to go do your payroll, you know, you put that money onto your card, you pay your payroll, you just got freaking flyer points um, and pay reward points from this platform because they give you pay rewards points, right? What that means is you accumulate points with these guys. It can be, as you can see on the screen, it can be directed to Qantas business rewards, Qantas points, Virgin points, Chris Flyer points. They have their own store and resources as well. These guys are actually owned by the guys that have point hacks, um, which is one of the biggest point hacking uh, platforms. If you ever Google like best credit cards for frequent flyer points, they're probably going to come up. So these guys are really, really good at what they do. You get a concierge, right, to help you earn more points. Also tell you how to spend your points. So if you want to go on a trip, they actually will book it for you. you get, um, depending on what package you go on, there's a free package, then there's a basic and another one. You will get... Um, you'll get one international and one local flight booked for you. You can get more, I think, if you want, but ultimately once you do it once or twice, it works really well. But this will cover all of your expenses. So every expense that you have can be sorted out by pay.com.au. Pay through there. As a use your credit card, that's a double dip. You pay with your credit card, you get your frequent flyer points, you get your corners points, your Virgin points, or your AMX points. Then you get your pay rewards points for every dollar you put through there. So now... Double dipped, right? Delicious, right? The triple dip, right? Most people just go, just take one dip and end it, right? They just go through and they go, oh, I've got my dip. That's enough. We've just, we've just saying, you know, I just used my Amex. Now we've got double dip. But the delicious triple dip, right? What are you talking about? So the triple dip here is you have to pay your credit card. Pay your credit card through pay.com.au gets you another dip, another little taste, because you're gonna make pay that from your, from your own account, right? So you pay from your bank account to your credit card, that's the extra dip. So you get to use your credit card to pay for your points, you get points from your credit card, points from pay.com.au, then when you pay off your credit card, using your bank account, you also get a little delicious triple dip right there. Now, <clears throat> if you've got an overseas team, Pay.com.au also connects with AirWallX, which is basically like an international um, account where you can basically have different funds from US, AU, Singapore dollars, like whatever you want to do. You can have all different um, accounts in there for international currencies. But what you can do is, is Pay.com.au and AirWallX connect. So you can go from Pay.com.au to AirWallX and distribute out to all your overseas team, Philippines, Singapore, US, wherever they are. It <clears throat> doesn't matter from that perspective. You can pay your entire team from here. Really, really, really cool. So what you want to do, obviously, then if you use your card, right, freaking flyer points, use pay.com.au to LLX, use that to pay your overseas team. Now you've got all of your expenses covered and generating you a result. Now, as I said, I'd highly recommend you guys just to go and take some action. Go and register for all these. Most of them are free. <coughs> Most of them are free for you to use. So register, use them. As I said, if you use the links below, if you use my link for air, for um, pay.com.au, if you put $10,000 worth of expenses through in your first month, which like most people would, right? You've got wages, you've got expenses, you've got advertising, paying your credit card, all that sort of stuff. You get 10,000 bonus points. I get 10,000 bonus points. Everybody wins. If you use, air, sorry, that's on pay.com.au. So that's why there's a link below. Live FBOS. I don't get anything. I just think it's cool. And then on uh, Airwall X, um, is if you use my link, then we're connected there as well. Um, but I think they've got some rewards, bonuses, and I think uh, live FPOS at the moment as well. If you register for before the 1st of July, 2023, so depending on whenever you're watching this, whoever you are, um, you've got access to a double rewards points if you process through them. So that's pretty cool. So for every dollar you process, you can get two freaking flyer points. So if you make thirty or forty thousand dollars worth of um, sales in a month, it's eighty to one hundred thousand points a month. How much? How many points does it take to get to Europe? Return business class? 
about three, 350, 350K. Not too bad, especially if you've got someone else finding the flights for you um, for a very, very cheap price. And I said, I just want to put this together because I think it's pretty epic. Um, I wish that you all should never fly economy again. Hashtag that bad boy. Tag me on that on socials, you know, do some short story sharing. Um, and then, yeah, all links below. And then there's two bonus videos to help you rock and roll. And there's one video from me. And there's also a video from Steve from I Fly, I Fly Flat, which is pretty cool. So I highly encourage you guys to check them out and never fly economy again. Take advantage as business owners, as people who are always spending money, may as well bring some of those dollar riskies back to you and get rewarded for it. Until next time, I'm Kim. You've all been awesome. Adios.